gather around children and grab your popcorn and your snacks uh i'm gonna be doing a story time saturday um i was going to chicago uh it was the boys and girls club smart girls expo and my friend jade lipstick and curls she was speaking at this event you know i just was trying to be a good sister you know what i'm saying supporting the sisters i was just trying to support a friend okay i went by myself because cameron had to take his parents to the airport got in the car as usual did my little hour drive to chicago because it is quite far to go to chicago now i was running a little bit late i tried to get there like at 10 30 ish i knew she said that i was gonna like have a little bit of words or whatever um so i was like trying to get there early enough so that I didn't walk in late. You know what I mean? I was supposed to be there at 10.15. I got there at 10.30. Um, thing didn't start till 10.50, so I thought I had a little bit of time. So I'm outside and I'm trying to do this whole parking situation. If you guys have never been to Chicago, parking is kind of crazy. I try to get a good spot. So I find this spot, it's at a hotel. The event is at a hotel at the Hilton. So I park right across the street from the Hilton. I've been to this Hilton before. I've actually stayed at this Hilton. The parking at the hotel is expensive and I wasn't trying to pay for it. And I didn't know if I was going to get like a voucher for it. So if I could have it for free or whatever, if they were going to cover it for me. So I was just like, screw it. I'm just going to park across the street. So I parked across the street. What? I'm telling a story. What? Don't bark at me. Don't talk back. What? Use your words. So I get to the hotel or whatever and I park. And I park across the street because I know there's parking across the street. Um, you know, I'm just trying to hurry up so I can get inside and get to what I got to do. Because they're texting me like, hey, where are you at? And I'm like, hey, I'm here. And they're like, okay, come meet me. And I'm like, okay, let me park. So I'm trying to find parking. Let me get this parking situation right. Get out of the car. Now, if at these lots, you have to uh, go to the little thing and pay for, you know, however long you're going to. Sorry if you can hear Gigi chewing this carrot. Park the car. And I go pay for my parking, get the receipt, great. I'm at the event, she did a great job speaking. It was really awesome. The girls loved it. There was 400 plus girls there, they all loved it. Um, I got up and said some words. We took pictures afterwards and it was all Gucci. We had a great little powwow session at this restaurant called Kitty O'Shea's, which is in the uh, hotel. It's in the actual hotel, it's downstairs. Um, and if you guys watch Life with the Logans, I've actually mentioned Kitty O'Shea's before. It's an Irish pub. Kitty O'Shea's is an Irish pub. And I'm not a fan of Irish pubs because I don't like that, that kind of food. I just don't like... Ugh. It just isn't my favorite type of food. Me and Jade are looking at the menu like, mm, I don't really see anything appetizing on this menu. Um, I don't really like Irish pubs. They don't really have anything but like corned beef hash, chicken tenders, and burgers and stuff. So I ordered a burger and some fries. It's like this big, it's like a Krabby Patty size. Kind of eating and talking, eating and talking. So off and on, I kind of took bites of the burger or whatever. It was decent, it was all right. It wasn't the best burger I ever had in my life. It wasn't no smash burger or nothing, but it was decent, edible. I'm just there for the fellowship. Really wasn't concerned too much about the food. I just wanted something to eat because I was starving. It was the only thing I had eaten all day. After we're done eating, we go up to the room um, so Jade can check out. So she's like packing all her stuff. And I start feeling a little bit like, ugh. I don't normally digest beef very well, but I figured I could, you know, go to the bathroom when I got home, it'd be fine. Um, I wasn't really too worried about it, too pressed. I don't like to use public bathrooms, that's just me. So I figured even if I did have to go, I was gonna wait till I got home anyway. Um, I walked Jade out of the hotel and I'm going to my car. I walk outside to the parking lot. My car's not there. What? My poor Nikita, my Jeep. I don't like to think about the crime and stuff in Chicago. Um, when I'm down there, cause I mean, nobody likes to think about those things. We don't wanna think horribly about where we're at. So I'm just like, okay, Lord, it's not stolen. I'm not gonna think it's stolen. I'm gonna assume it was towed. And I'm trying to think, why in the world would they tow my car? I'm not really nervous. I'm not really bothered by it. I'm like, it's okay. You know, God got me. I'm just gonna go pick up my car. I'm not gonna tell Cameron what happened. I'm just gonna go pick it up because he gonna be mad at me. So I'm just like, okay, let me just not get upset right now let me just call them and ask them where the place is call an uber go to the place pick up my car go home stomach starting to feel a little bad so i'm just like eh. i'm not gonna trip about it we're just gonna pretend like nothing ever happened so i type the address into uber catch an uber from the hotel and the uber gets there i get in the uber 
and he was like so you're going to the tow place and I was like yep and uh, he was like how much is it gonna cost and I was like well on the on the sign it says it's gonna cost me two hundred dollars and he's like dang that's effing crazy bro like that's ridiculous man Chicago man they just be charging an arm and a leg for everything like they get you he's like you gotta be careful downtown and I'm like well I learned my lesson thanks <laughs> get to the tow place and this tow place y'all there's certain areas you go in Chicago that you don't want to get out the car. Certain areas you don't want to be by yourself. You just don't. And that's why I didn't want to call Cameron because I'm like, if he knew I was out here by myself, y'all, this tow place is creepy. Like there's barbed wire everywhere. And like, I'm just imagining my death. You know, I'm just trying to be positive at this point because I'm scared for my life um, because there was nobody out here. There was no cars. There's nothing. It was just like a whole bunch of fence and barbed wire hoping god please let my car be in this place right you have to walk through the fence through this alley this fenced off alley and then there's like a little window where you could put your credit card and your information in there um i get there the woman in there is smoking and it stinks really bad she has a really nasty voice and an attitude which i'm trying to figure out like you work here and you know the people who come here are gonna hate you why do you have attitude i'm already scared for my life but now you're giving me attitude and you blowing smoke in my face bye boo so i'm going through my purse i find the ticket that i was supposed to put in my windshield so that's why my car got towed so i'm like okay so if i have my card where it says that i paid for my parking can i at least get a discount or something can you help a sister out all right i was having a good day i want to keep it that way and she was like you didn't put it in the window and she was like, do you have your license? And I'm just looking through my cards, trying to find my ID. I'm, I'm feeling a sharp pain in my lower abdomen. So I'm like kind of bent over to one side, looking through my purse, trying to find my ID. And I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I don't have my ID, I don't have my ID. And I'm looking and she's like, ma'am, do you have your ID? And I was like, hold on. And I'm literally searching, I'm about to cry right now because my heart is hurting for myself right now. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, this can't, this is the worst day ever. Like, I can't believe. I was about to pull out my camera and be like, y'all, I need you to witness this with me because this is a mess. And I'm like, ugh. So I grab my, <laughs> my debit card. I sit on the ground because at this point, my stomach is killing me. Like, there's a sharp, sharp, sharp pain in my lower ab. I'm in Satan's alley in the fetal position, curled up, like holding my side with my purse, don't have my ID, can't get my car, flustered, trying to figure out what to do. It's freaking windy, so it's kind of cold outside and I kind of have on a mesh bodysuit, so the, the wind is going straight through my clothes. I'm in the sunken place. Now I have to call Cameron and I hate to do this because my pride is just hurting me right now. Like I really don't like asking for help. I don't like people to see me down and see me hurt and broken and messed up. And I don't like to ask for help. And I know he's gonna be angry and upset because he already had to drive all the way to the airport to take his parents to the airport earlier. So I know he's not gonna wanna come get me all the way from Chicago. And I'm on the other side of downtown. So it's gonna be at least an hour and 30 minutes before he can even find me. So yeah, I'm, I'm upset with myself at this point and I'm low key kinda dying inside. I can't stay out here. I can't stay out here because I'm gonna die. If I stay out here, I'm gonna die. Either my insides are gonna eat me from the inside out or somebody is going to come kill me. I need to find a safe place. I call Cameron. I'm like, babe, I need you to come get me. Of course, I'm in distress, so I don't know how, how not to sound desperate at this point. So he's probably like, Vicky. He doesn't like when I exaggerate. But at this point, I do feel like I'm really dying. And he's like, where are you? What, what's going on? My car got towed and I'm at the tow place and I don't have my ID to pay for it. And he's like, send me your location. Managed to crawl out of the sunken place. Where do I go to be safe? Starbucks. Call an Uber to go to Starbucks. I text him and I'm like, okay, actually just meet me at this Starbucks uh, on State Street and we'll figure this out. So I send him the address. I call the Uber. The Uber comes. It's this woman in this dusty van. I have specific feels, you know, about the quality of the Ubers that I get in. I just can't with the dirtiness. I could barely open the door because I was, like I said, bent over trying to gather myself because, um, you know, I'm in the sunken place and my stomach is killing me. I'm just gonna get in this van and we just gonna hit it and quit it. So I get in the van, 
She takes me to Starbucks, which is only eight minutes away, but it felt like an eternity because every bump in the road was like killing my pain in my abs. So I get to the Starbucks. I can't go in the bathroom because the door is locked and they have a padlock with a code on it. So somebody had to come open it. There's a guy sitting in a booth and he has in headphones and he's like, jamming right so he comes over and he's like oh you need to go to the bathroom and he opens he, he does a little lock code and opens the door for me i put my stuff down mummify the toilet because i it's disgusting in there the bathroom is terrible which makes me so upset because i usually go to starbucks because they have cleaner bathrooms but this one did not i hate public restrooms but i yet have to be in here because if not I'm probably going to end up exploding somewhere else. And I'm rocking back and forth on the toilet, crying for Jesus, basically asking him, why me? What did I do to be in the situation? Why is my stomach hurting so bad? Please don't let my husband, Ike Turner me, when he finds out that this car is gonna cost him $200 that he don't wanna pay. There's no other way I gotta get this. I gotta get my car, I gotta get my car. I gotta get my car, my stomach hurts really bad. The day is going so well, Lord, my outfit is cute, my hair is cute, I'm on fleek and I can't even take a picture of it because I'm curled up in the sunken place in this Starbucks that's nasty. The bathroom stinks, there's piss on the floor. Help me, Jesus, help me. I would at least think if my stomach's hurting this bad, something would come out. Nothing's coming out. I'm sorry if this is graphic. And I start feeling a little bit queasy. And I'm like, oh shoot, it's gonna come out the front. And I hate when stuff comes out the front. I don't know about you guys, but I literally can't stand vomiting. It's the worst feeling in the world. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I pull my pants up and I'm bent over because my stomach is punching like karate chopping. Karate is happening in my abs right now. This is not a normal stomach pain. It's like lower than that. It's like my intestines, my colon, something, right? Eventually, I end up throwing up my whole burger. I'm thinking that it might be that my stomach is backed up because ever since I got back from um, Dubai, my stomach has been kind of weird because when I go out of town, I really can't use the bathroom. So my stomach has been backed up for a while and I knew that. Um, but I didn't really think about it when I was eating my burger because I was chopping it up with my friend. You need to do a good cleanse, girl. Maybe you should just drink some water to help everything flush. Went to the front uh, in Starbucks and I asked for some water. And uh, then I went and sat down. Like, I'm shaking. Like, my foot is, like, bouncing. I'm sitting in my seat. I'm shaking. I'm, like, rocking back and forth. Heart is palpitating. Trying not to die. My poor Nikita is still at the tow place. I'm stranded in Starbucks waiting for my husband to come get me. And it's just a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just really feel like the day could have went so much better if I wasn't so stupid and didn't forget to put the ticket in my front window. After sitting there for a little while and, not no and noticing that I didn't have my water, my stomach starts getting worse. I'm just like, oh, it's not better, it's not better. I went back to the front counter and I'm like, excuse me, can somebody give me some water, please? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry, let me get you some water. So I drink the water like a little bit. I'm sipping it immediately after I finish it. Oh, mm-mm. Nope, this isn't staying down. So I hop out of my chair and I go back to the bathroom. And homeboy is over there and he sees me and I'm like, oh, you have to throw up? All right, hold on. So he gets up and runs to the bathroom and he's like pressing buttons and I'm like, nope, wait, 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 hold on. Nope, nope, bleh. Oh no. Open the floodgate. The levees broke to say the least. I run into the bathroom, I finish letting out everything that needs to be let out, and somebody's knocking on the door like, are you okay? Do we need to call 911? Do we need to call somebody? And I'm like, no, I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine. All in my hair, it's all in my clothes, all in my clothes, all my brand new shoes, my brand new outfit that I wanted to take pictures in, but now I can't because it's covered in, I'm really embarrassed. I don't get embarrassed easy, guys. I don't get embarrassed easy, okay? So this is this is a moment for me. Cameron's calling me and he's like, where are you? What's going on? I'm parked outside. I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus, finally. I crawl my way out of the bathroom. I muster up enough courage. And uh, there's a couple people out there. One girl's mopping. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's okay, girl. I've seen worse things happen in here. And I'm like, I bet you have. And I, you know, see the other people sitting there. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry if you got disgusted. I'm like, no, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. I'm so sorry. And I leave out of the Starbucks. And I rush over, still bent over like a decrepit old woman. Get in the car. And Cameron's like, are you all right? And I lean back and I'm like... This is the worst day ever. So he starts telling me this story 
about how Lexus forgot her license when he took them to the airport. So he had to drive all the way back home and speed all the way back. They live an hour away from the airport. So he had to like speed 100 miles an hour all the way to the airport to take them, blah, blah, blah. He's telling the story to make me feel better. Doesn't make me feel better. I start bawling. It's just been the worst day. I was having such a good day and everything's going so wrong. And I just, I really want to get my car back. I just want to go home and I'm not threw up everywhere. And I'm so embarrassed. This is so embarrassing. And it's just, I'm so stupid. How can I forget the ticket in my purse? He's like, it's okay. Don't cry. It's okay. You know, we'll just go get the car. We go to the tow place. Finally is able to get my car. He's like, dude, that lady was so rude. I'm like, I know, like, how are you gonna be rude? Like, we hate you too, fam. We hate you too. Needless to say, Nikita comes out. She's still shining and beautiful because I got the car washed like the day before. So I was hoping she would still be beautiful. She was still beautiful, guys. So my stomach, mind you, it doesn't feel any better. After vomiting twice, I still feel absolutely terrible. Just leaning back like a thug in the seat, like trying to figure out how I'm gonna drive home. He's like, babe, you gotta get out the car. Like we gotta go because Gigi is at daycare. Try to muster up some strength to get out of the car and get in my car. I have to drive on a lean because my stomach hurts so bad. So I'm literally like driving like this, like I'm blasting heat because my feet are wet, my clothes are wet. I left the place to go to the tow place at one o'clock. So it's five o'clock. I know we're not gonna make it in time to get Gigi. So I call the daycare place and they're like, yeah, we close at six. So could you get somebody to come get her? So I'm just hurting, trying to drive in traffic, trying to frantically call all my friends and see who can go pick up my poor dog who could be stranded the whole weekend if I don't pick her up because they closed on Sunday. They care is closed on Sunday. So even if I didn't pick up Gigi, she would be stranded there until Monday. I can't believe the world came crashing down on me this hard. Like, you know what I mean? Like usually stuff like this does not happen to me. So I'm just confused. Eventually I get uh, my friend Jennifer to answer the phone and she can pick her up. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I get to my friend's house. I pick up Gigi and she doesn't like car rides. She has car anxiety. So she's whining. I'm whining because my stomach is hurting. We both get home. I rip my wig off. Okay. Wig was glued on, child, and I ripped it off. I didn't even care if my edges went with it. I was done. Pulled all my clothes off. I went to the bathroom, you know, try to push something out. That hurt even more. So I was like, okay, I can't push anything out. So I'm rocking back and forth, and I feel it coming up again. So basically, I got home around 7, and from 7 o'clock until what 6 a.m the next morning i was vomiting rolling around on the bed crying screaming yelling fussing burping belching a lot and vomiting it, it got to the point where around five or six i was i was i was vomiting lime green stuff i'm i'm out of energy i'm dehydrated i'm sick and cameron is preaching the next morning because it's sunday so cameron's preaching the next morning and i'm so upset because i can't go support him so i had to stay home so you know he prays for me or whatever he's like lord Please do a wonder. I start feeling a little better around 8 a.m. Talk to my friends and stuff and they're kind of helping me out. And they're like, yeah, you probably had food poisoning. Eventually I got it together. Eventually I start feeling a little bit better, but that was the worst day of my life. Looking back on it one day, I'm just gonna laugh, <laughs> but it's pretty bad. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys in my next video.